what was happening on the eight inch? That's sand over there, a lot of sand. And what was happening with firing the eight inch, you'd fire it not observed, the observer would say. In other words, it didn't cook off, it didn't explode. So they could, so we'd give them another one in that area, not observed. So finally, you, because the eight inch is, doesn't have a nose fuse, it's all in the base of the projectile, the base fuse. So in order for that thing to cook off, we would have to go to the five inch mounts. Thank God they were the same nose fuse. We would take the nose fuse out of the five inch mount and put them in a bucket and run them up to the firing tucket, turret at night and replace the nose fuse on the eight inch with the five inch so that when we fired it, the nose fuse would hit and explode. And to do that, the danger of handling those nose fuses in the middle of the night it would either could have exploded in the five inch mount when we're taking it off or exploded. And I would just sit there and pray to God, please let this be a successful night. And that's what we did. And that, that was one of the inter interesting parts of the job that I, I, I feared, to be honest with you. I just feared that nothing would happen and hopefully nothing. And nothing did happen.